Off the top at noon, child tragedy. A 10-year-old boy shot and killed in his home in Northeast Miami-Dade on Thursday. And we're now learning more from sources of what happened inside that apartment. Let's get straight over to Local 10's Leanne Morahone. She's joining us live from that scene with an update on our top story today. Leanne. And we are also getting our first look at that 10 year old boy at this time. No one is facing any criminal charges for what happened at the apartment complex behind me. But we are hearing from sources that the victim's own 13 year old brother was the one who pulled the trigger. 10 year old Shamarian Burst was shot and killed in this Northeast Miami Dade apartment Thursday evening. Burst is the son of a Miami Dade corrections officer. Fellow uniformed officers were seen outside Ryder Trauma Center visibly distraught after the boy was pronounced dead. The focus is on the fact that we have a 10 year old child that lost his life because of a firearm. It all happened around 5 p.m. Thursday inside a third floor unit at the Horizons North Apartments off of Ives Dairy Road. Police say five kids between the ages of 9 and 15 were inside the unit at the time while their parents were at work. Police have not officially confirmed who pulled the trigger, though sources say a 13 year old inside the home shot his 10 year old sibling in the chest. Now they're going to try to find out exactly what call? How did this happen? How could it this happen? Shamarian's mother created this GoFundMe page to pay for his funeral. She posted in part, quote, though none of you may have known him, I can tell you he was an amazing young boy, loving, playful, and always there to put a smile on your face when you need it. Imagining life without him is something we never thought we'd have to do as a family, and even worse, we have to lay him to rest. And we're still trying to confirm whether there was ever an adult at that apartment at any time during this incident. We also are trying to figure out exactly what the circumstances were that led to this shooting. Police, of course, trying to figure out whether this was some sort of tragic accident. We do have a link to that GoFundMe on our website. You can find that by heading to local10.com. Reporting live in Northeast Miami-Dade, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.